Boys and girls, ladies and gents, I have a spicy video for you today. The update is almost upon us. It looks like, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen a little bit of a few things anyway. I have a few corrections to make on some videos that you probably have already seen. Just some changes that Supercell has already made in the dev build here that are, I think, crucial. Crucial. So we're going to kind of walk through these a little bit, uh, kind of one at a time, and kind of go through what we have here. And I'll show you <sighs> everything there is to show you at the moment. Uh, keep in mind there are a few things that are still hidden that we can't show you that are awesome. Absolutely some of the best things. Like this is honestly probably uh, going to be one of the coolest updates ever. I mean Clan Wars was huge I think. But this just goes above and beyond in trying to implement more things, more game modes that we can kind of help vary our playing styles and abilities and just kind of go through and change just the way we play and approach Clash Royale each day. I think the team has done a bang up job on this update and you guys are going to be super impressed once you get to see it. But let's walk through this. Obviously you guys know the um, lightning super magical chest or whatever they call it. <laughs> I should know the name. The super magical chest is getting replaced for the mega lightning chest, um, which is absolutely awesome. Um, that chest gives you the option to strike eight times, um, strike out those legendaries that you don't necessarily need. So that is right there. So it will replace anything in your quest. It will replace anything in your chest cycle that is a super magical. So. Um, if you do have one right now, don't open it. Wait until after the update and it will be a lot more saucy, obviously. Um, as you know, you're going to start getting gems in Clan Wars just for participating, which is awesome. Um, a huge uh, thing. You're gonna, that, so they're adding more gems to the economy. Um, I can't show you yet, but the shop's going to be changed. You're going to be able to like... Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. So awesome. You guys are going to be so excited. Um, so the clan, I guess they're going to improve the clan search. So that's awesome. You're going to be ranked up against clans that are closer to your trophy levels. However they're going to do that, I'm not 100% sure. But let's get into the meaty stuff. First of all, the join, the tournaments. Um, you can create some tournaments um, now. Oh my heck, I'm so... Okay, so let's create a tournament here. Um, you have the ability to add different numbers of players but this 10 one is actually really awesome because you can just have like your friends join the tournament and you can actually have a really competitive tournament amongst friends or amongst really similar people rather than having a whole bunch of extra peeps in there you can do the 30 minute tournament which is cool so it's a nice quickie one um, but the cool thing that I like the best uh, not even the game mode um, I think that's cool because you can do different game modes but I like the level cap in my opinion I think the cards interact completely differently at level 13 than they do at 9, even given the same decks. And I think you guys agree. I think they have totally different interactions, and so it creates a total different outcome. So this gives you the ability to change the level cap in the tournaments that you do create. Well, it looks like you can't go like down below level 9 obviously because I guess they want everybody to be level 9 but that's something so you have the ability to change that which is way cool the clan search features so you can actually search for clans um, you're able to see different things so this one kind of determines if your clan is active in clan war so you can see instantly and I think you can toggle those and be, you're gonna be able to see that if they can donate a lot and then you can also see if um, your friends are in clans which is kind of cool um, different search method you can also see the the regular stuff that you could always see which is way cool the biggest thing in this update is the global tournament what is that what is that you guys don't even know what that is okay i'll tell you what it is okay <laughs> the global tournament is a tournament basically sponsored by supercell every so often there's going to become one in one coming like right after the update launches but it's a global tournament for everybody in the world Okay, um, now in this global tournament, they can decide what king level 
tower cap they want. So not every tournament is going to be created equal. Sometimes they'll let level 9 be the cap, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it may be rough to get in. Um, actually, I think it doesn't even go down to level 9 maybe. I think level 10 might be the lowest that it goes. Um, but you can play even if you are king level 9, so you can get in the global tournament. Um, but you might be at somewhat of a disadvantage, unfortunately. Um, so, basically, in each tournament, you have four losses, you're out. Okay? Um, a couple early screenshots of things show three losses, but they bumped it up to four losses. Four losses, you're out of the tournament. You can get as many wins as you want. And if you no notice here, there's two sides to, to this uh, bar down here. One side, the top side is the, you're paying to get those rewards, and I'll explain that in a second. The bottom side is the free rewards. You run through here, so let's say that you pop out of the tournament and you get 20 wins, okay? You're gonna get yourself a lightning chest for free, along with all these other rewards, 2,500 gold, you get a legendary token it looks like, you'll get a rare token, which is awesome, okay? You'll get that for free, you don't have to pay for that, that's just what you get for being in the tournament, if, if you get 20 wins, okay, 20 wins in, you didn't like lose out <laughs> by getting four losses. The top section here is what you could possibly pay for. So basically it's, you get all this gold. The very first one is 11,000 gold, okay? And I'm not 100% sure that they've locked down the what you have to pay to get those rewards. I think it's 100 gems, 500 gems. So you pay 500 gems to get 11,000 gold if you get one win. You don't have to pay the 500 gems, but you can, okay? And 500 gems in the shop, I think, doesn't quite get you, I'm trying to think what the old shop was, but uh, doesn't quite get you, uh, let's just say 11,000 gold is what they figure is worth more than 500 gems. So they figure it's already worth it. And then once you go up in here and you get all these rewards, you can still spend, it's only 500 gems, and you get all of them. Okay, so think of a grand challenge. You spend 100 gems and you get one win. You get like three cards and like 100 gold. Big whoop. And let's say you get 12 wins in a grand challenge. You've spent 100 gems and you've done extremely well for yourself, but you still only get 22,000 gold and a bunch of cards. Now what their theory is, is you get to play these battles and once you realize you did extremely good, they're gonna give you the option to spend 500 gems to reap all those reward, rewards in hindsight. It's like being able to play a grand challenge and see what you're gonna get before you actually spend the 100 gems. So it's kinda cool. Um, the only unfortunate part is it is 500 gems, but they're saying it will be worth it. Um, a grand challenge is cool. You spend 100 gems, you get 22,000 gold, but yeah, whatever, you know. The coolest thing, I've never gotten 22,000 gold. I usually get like 3,000 gold for 100 gems. So this is already better for me, better value for me. 500 gems and I get 11,000 gold right off the bat. Plus, I bet I could at least get five wins. So that will get me 11,000 gold plus three, plus that's 16, five, 19, two, 20, 24, 20. Whole bunch of math. If I get like 12 wins, I get like 40,000 gold and a bunch of other crap and a legendary chest guaranteed, which is awesome. Anyway, I digress. I'm, I'm going on this too much. So this kind of shows you all the rewards banked out. You spend the 500 gems and you could possibly get them all. Keep in mind, people, keep in mind. Oh, that's two legendary chests in this one. And I don't know if you guys saw the TV Royale episode where they had the emote in a placeholder somewhere in there. The emotes possibly will come as rewards, but they are also talking about <laughs> I don't know, uh, doing um, sweet things. So if you finish like top five in the world um, during the global challenge, you could possibly, or top 10 I guess it is, um, you can get an additional 100k gold for free. So if you're that good, you could finish top 10, then you'll get an additional 100k gold right there. See that? Top 10 exclusive reward, which is pretty sweet. And I think there is also going to be some other exclusive rewards for the top finishers in some global tournaments. Whew. Okay, so I hope that's explained extremely well. Uh, it was really long-winded, and I think it was adequate. Um, it, 
also can go past 30. You can get more than 30 wins, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of people. Maybe there will. Some of those pros out there, it's going to be pretty cool to watch the leaderboards and actually see how high they actually get in trophies. Um, I am dang excited to see it. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. Anyway, there is some more stuff in the sneak peek that we have not been able to show you yet. Uh, stay tuned. If they'll let us show it to you, then I will show it to you, obviously, first. Uh... But I'm super excited for this update. There's some dang cool things in here, and I think it's going to make our quality of life go way up and give us some other options to play around with the game here in Clash. So I think that's going to be way awesome. Um, sorry, no gameplay in this video today. We could try. I mean, I just, there's never anybody in the dev build that wants to play. So 